so I'm creating a new document in here and you see when you create a new document you don't want to have facing pages so please be aware that you stay in here with print so it uh, makes them sure that you're working in a zoom OK model so go untick these facing pages and remember really really useful in InDesign is once you have this preview button whenever you see preview button make sure that this one is ticked so we're going to create a, a custom size instead of going to A4 you go down there here in the bottom and create another one so in here we just call it box have our width under 300 and the height about 300 once we click on add you will see how it just shows up in here click on OK now you can choose it every time you need it and the next thing what we're going to do in here is just like set up a margin a margin is this purple line or this magenta line around here which is intended to contain your text keep these on 15 millimeters. You see this little chain symbol in here means that whenever you change anything of these, everything else is chained to that. So it will uh, change accordingly. Now open bleed and slug and go to bleed. You need about 3 millimeter bleed. So hit here 3 millimeters and you see automatically it just changes all of them to 3 millimeter bleed. Click on OK and you've got your first document. So the very first thing is what you have to do in there, just click now on master pages. Double click the master page and remember you want to set up everything what you do in your master pages will be throughout your document, consistent wherever this little master page is applied to. So once you double click on your master page, go to layout, go to create guides and remember just to have this one ticked under the preview and create seven rows a gutter of seven millimeters and the columns in here should be seven millimeters as well. The gutter should be seven millimeters. Now please remember that to fit your guides by default they're set to the page and please remember to fit your guides to the margins. So keep this one tick and once you go to OK go back into your document you'll see all our master pages items are locked so we can't actually move them anymore. So once we're over there we just grab these ones and group them Once we're here, highlight all of these, make a go to object and go to group. Now copy these ones. Best thing is press Command C or you make a right mouse click on that and go to copy. Go to your new file and paste them. Again, right mouse click, go to paste, and you see your file just pasted in here. So the best thing is now you just go to the corner of your edge. So don't go to up to the bleed. Ungroup them first. Make a right mouse click, go to ungroup, or, or press Command Shift and G. And with everything highlighted, now go to type, and go to create outlines. Once you have these all these outlines created, highlight all of it again. Make a right mouse click, and group them again. So we just want to have our all of our type to be a vector file. Now hold down the Shift key and pull it up just to make it a little bit bigger. So now you have to be aware that the background on that should be exactly like your page. Right? So just move that a little bit further so that you see you're just matching, matching pretty much exactly the page. Right? So if you've done that right, these ones should align with the grid. Now the next thing what you want to do is just move your background should actually line up with the bleed. So you have to ungroup your files again. Now just highlight only your background and make that a little bit larger. Now please remember some of these boxes are bigger than 300 millimeters. So what you can do in there, remember industry standard is a minimum of 3 millimeter bleed. Uh, what you always can do in it, you can just make that a little bit bigger and once you just print it out just please be aware that you just cut it accordingly so once you're in here um, you please remember that the bleed the industry standard is about three millimeters but our box is a little bit bigger so you may want to make them a little bit bigger and extend these by just simply dragging that out 